day 27. Rather comfortable night. I, you know, I was tired as hell, so I just passed right out, and I overslept. I don't set an alarm or anything, so you know, I like to be up at 3, and so I, I normally do my things, but it's 5.30 right now. Um, I was hoping for a breakfast at this restaurant coming up in another uh, dozen miles, maybe less. Uh, but, you know, that, the, those dreams are dashed by oversleeping, but that's go on wind. Just gotta hold uh, the tent up off my fire. Uh, I am making coffee right now. Hmm. Oh, I still had a piece of rice in my lip from last night. Oh, that's horrible. That's really unhealthy. That's bad for your teeth. But it was up in there. I was like, what was that? No, yeah, it was dinner. Uh, yeah. Okay, so anyway, we got a dozen miles to do till a restaurant and a general store. So, hey, maybe it'll be raining and, you know, I'll come in right as it's raining. It's been windy all night. Not like a constant, but like you hear a freight train coming. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, oh, you know, and, and, then, it, and then it hits. Uh, but I have my tent set real low to the ground, so it's not even getting up under this thing right now and messing with my fire. It's just pushing it to the sides, and I don't want it getting near my fire because this thing arrived with a hole in it. Yeah. Um, what is it? My tarp, when it arrived, has, has a small hole right at the tie-down point. I noticed it before as I was setting it up the first time. I took a picture. I thought about, you know, hitting them up and be like, hey, there's a hole. But you know how hard it is to get stuff on trail. I don't want him to send me a replacement. I don't care about the hole. As long as it doesn't get bigger, I'll find a patch for it or something, man. I don't really care about aesthetics all that much. It's functionality that I want. All right, so let's get our coffee going. It's still bow ruin because I just got up, man. I was like, ooh, I overslept. I could tell by how, you know, um, relaxed I was. <sighs> coffee. A little oats, maybe. A little safety. And then let's hit the trail. Oh, yeah, as we do. See you out there. Still sitting in my tent, packing up, you know, drinking my coffee, all that fun stuff, and looking at the map a little bit. Um, we're we're going to rain, get rained on. Yeah, but according to the, the weather report, because it's giving me an hour by hour this time, um, so I'm pretty sure it's going to. Uh, it says it's going to start tonight at like 8. So something kind of late after I'm already set up and just go all night and be done sometime in the morning when I wake up. If it's going to rain, man, I'd rather it rain while I sleep. Yeah. Don't want to walk in that crap. But we also, um, Darlin Johnson has hooked us up with a room, man, for two nights. Oh, yeah. Thank you very much. Uh, she was like, if you just want one night at this one place, I'll get it for you. But this place, you have to have two. And I was like, fuck, you know, I, I can use two, man. Thank you very much. I can definitely use two. Um, we got a lot of stuff to upload and whatnot. So as long as they have decent Wi-Fi, I was like, so that's what I asked her. I was like, as long as they have decent Wi-Fi, man, I'll take those two nights. Hell yes, I will. And she's going to send me a little care package too. Awesome. She sends really good care packages. Oh, I'm kind of excited. Uh, but we got to make it there. You know, I'm not even on the AT yet. I, I think that was like in the first, like, two days of the AT for me last time. So it should be day one on the AT for me this time. I mean, last time I think I was doing eight miles a day. You know, I'm feeling pretty confident at that. But I didn't have shoes on then. So, you know, eight miles a day was probably pretty good for barefoot. You, know, you try it. Uh, <laughs> so I remember like it took me like three days to get to Blood Mount last time. So I bet I can make it there in a day, day and a half tops. Um, it's kind of hard to schedule stuff like that, so I'm going to have to play around with Map just so I can get her a better time frame. But I am sure taking my time, man. It's probably like 6 o'clock or thereafter. I'm not getting breakfast, that's for damn sure, but eh, screw it. I missed out on it. I went into town yesterday, man. I spent $6 while I was there. That was it, $6. I got my free hamburger. I paid for a hamburger and fries, and I you know, didn't get anything else while I was there. I planned on eating at the Waffle House at night and the Waffle House again in the morning and going out, but, you know, hey, man, I was glad Dan was there to take me back to the trail. Really appreciative of that, because I'd rather be here right now than behind the Walmart going, man, I'm cold and unhappy, but I got my videos uploaded. No, 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 I'm here comfortable in the woods where I'm supposed to be. All right, then let's finish up this coffee and get out on the trail, man. You got walking to do. We ain't paying you to talk. Walk and talk. So check out all the space I got in here, man. The other end's way over there. I, I'm not even halfway, my foot is not even halfway through my tent. Tons of room. I mean, I'm, I'm all spread out all over the place. Yeah, it looks like a 
a little, you know, I don't know, trash explosion. But that, that's my junk. That, that's my, my... Once I take my hammock out of the equation, this thing just opens right up. I mean, there's tons of room in here. Literally six or eight of us could sit in here and play cards if we wanted to. You know, on a good rainy day. Ooh, it would stink in here, a bunch of wet hikers. But, you know, I, I can't really smell them. But I'm pretty sure even I could if we were all in here together. But this is not a bad setup. Let's see how well it works in a rainstorm, huh? I should set up early and all that stuff just so I can make sure I got my, you know, everything in place. I haven't ridden out a rainstorm on a trail yet in a while. Not that I can think of. I'm always able to hide. I don't think I'm able to hide from this one, so let's deal with it. Okay, and we're finally off. Look, we don't even need a headlamp. It's probably 7 o'clock. Oh, 7.07. 7. Look at me getting out all super late. Ooh, uphill already? Really? <laughs> It is a gorgeous morning, you know, I mean, other than the, you know, threatening rain. Birds are singing. Temperature is great. It's probably in the upper 60s right now. That's why the birds are so happy. They hate cold, too. The lengths those guys are willing to go through to get out of cold. Feels good up here. Looking at the map for water sources, like there's no other none of the blue water drops on the map for the longest time. So after you do that quick search, you kind of go through and See where the blue lines intersect the trail. Let me read the comments. And I saw one from Early Riser uh, back in October of 2020. And he says there's water in five miles if I don't find anything sooner. I'm hoping to find something sooner. I'm down to like a half a liter. But I can definitely stretch a half liter out of five miles. And I'm assuming that I'll come across water sooner than that. Ooh, lots of uphill so far. But when you get to the top, you're greeted with a breeze. Quite a stiff breeze, but oh, it evaporates the sweat really well. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Feels good. Okay. What sign do we have here? Oh, love it. Scrogging knob. You're a scrogging knob. It's a Scroggin' Knob campsite. Safety meaning, yeah, I agree, man. Let's get safe at Scroggin' Knob. Oh, man, I would not want to camp up here. I guess after everything grows in, you'd be a little more protected. But that's why they're hiding behind a log here when they camp. You can tell by how wet it is. This thing just fills up with water and holds it for a while. It is still wet here. And when was the last time it rained? It has been a minute. Maybe it rained here. I mean, it sprinkled yesterday where is that? So maybe it, you know, I am up a bit higher. Look how exposed this is though. Even with the leaves. It is a bit much for me. But any port in a storm, nowhere real to hang a hammock. I guess there are. You know, I could go from there to there, but I'd have all these branches in my tent with me. I don't like having stuff in my tent with me, man. Your tent flap it against that thing in the middle of the night or your tarp, put a hole right in it. Plus, I don't like sharing my space. I know I got plenty, but I ain't sharing it. I even kick all the leaves out of the way, man. Even though it's not super windy, I'm still hearing a loud crack every once in a while. That yeah, makes me turn around. Nothing's falling. It's just adjusting, I guess. Oh, 
I'm going to get wet tonight. That's what she said. I'm just sweaty enough to make that cold. It's all refreshing when I first stepped into it, but you know, a couple minutes later, you're like, brr. But when you're up this high, I assume you can't go that much higher. I mean, there's that hill over there that's a bit higher, but just a bit. And if the Bent Mackay runs any way the AT does, yeah, I'm probably going up over top of that too. This one seems like a desperate campsite. You get these two hills that straight funnel everything up. You can see the line they'd follow right into this campsite. Notice that the fire ring is, the tiny one, is behind a tree to best block the wind, I guess, that little tree. This trail going down there. That's not me, is it? Yeah, mine goes up. Oh, there's lots of TP behind that tree. Nice. I'm assuming it's girl pee when it's that close to a campsite. Most people aren't going to do straight in their campsite. Most people. I mean, can't count it out. I wouldn't want to camp on top of it and just assume. You know, don't take your chances. And nine times out of ten, we see TP that close to where people are sleeping. It's just girl pee. No pee. Oh, a spring. How far down, man, that information would be nice to know. I'm going to look at my map because I don't remember seeing anything like this. So, yeah, I look at the comments because there is a road intersection here kind of symbol. Uh, but not a single comment because there's a good eight of them mentions how far it is. One says something like three minutes. So that, that's the closest thing I have to the distance. I'm guessing that's what? Point one. Doesn't say how steep, no nothing like that, so I'm assuming it's easy. Because, you know, I don't like walking severely off trail for water, but I am in need. Oh, I already see the plants that grow around water, so I'm assuming I'm close. Well, this abomination of nature was hanging out on the trail. It's just one long rope that was just hanging out and grabbed my leg as I was walking by. So I tied it into a little pretzel shape. Um, and let's see if it chokes itself to death. I mean, I'll never know, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna. Good luck with that. I curse you. Should have grabbed my leg, jerk. So I'm putting that at about 0.2 in. Wonder where this ends up going to. Not on my map, so I guess I'll never know. Well, that's great. That's actually a spring. Flowing really well. Could be a decent campsite. Oh, yep, I see a fire ring over there. With a good flat spot like this, you know. This isn't bad at all, man. You're sheltered down in here. Got your water right here. I'm in a not bad spot. I could find somewhere to hang in here. That's deceptive. Two diamonds means you're going to turn. What you would assume would be a mess. But now you're still going straight. Because we're going to the cleverly named Fall Branch Falls. Let's see if Bear Man signed this thing at all, huh? I'm shocked. Not enough space for you, bro. At the same time yesterday, I was up to almost 12 miles. Today, I'm at like three and a half. Temperature has definitely dropped a few degrees and it's starting to mist every once in a while. I can just feel it. Can't quite see it. But 
but in another six miles I'll be having lunch somewhere. It should be open. It's Tuesday. It'll be around noon. I've got high hopes. See, I was over there. Yeah, probably on that one. Thinking I was going to go up this thing. And it does. I think I'm near the top. But after this, I'm betting it's mostly downhill to lunch. Sounds about perfect. I like strolling into places looking all strong and confident. Not all weak and weary. Put on a false front for the folks. Fake it till you make it. Cause I'm feeling pretty weary. I have not eaten much. And I'm trying not to. Because I have food waiting. And I didn't resupply. So if I don't eat anything now, I ate a nice big lunch. Got a few snacks on the way out. It'll save me money in the long run. General stores generally aren't the cheapest stores. Hewing. All right, no gear, he's just jogging. Yeah, I'm close to a road. Friendly chap. He says he's parked a little over two miles down the way. I'm assuming it's going to be mostly downhill. Oh, except that hill in front of me. Okay, despite that hill, it's going to be mostly downhill. He looked like he was running uphill the whole time. It's pretty chilly. We got a strong breeze. Look at them trees are moving. It does sound worse than it is, though. It feels good right now. But I've been going uphill for a couple miles. But yeah, he was a sweaty beast, so that looked like some uphill sweating to me. <laughs> oh, yeah, I just looked at the map. Um, I only have to go up 200 more over the next six miles and 2,000 down. Ooh. See, I'm not even going up that hill. I'm veering around the side and I'm already going downhill. Huh, okay. Cruisy little stroll to the restaurant. It's nice walking those ridges, but I'm just curious, okay, like ridges like those, all covered in dirt, it looks like trail, but you know, it's down both sides. And then there's the other ridges where they're just, you know, huge exposed rock the whole way, it's got the spine going on. I know mine has a spine, it's just under, you know, several feet of dirt. You know, under that hill right there of dirt is a ton of boulders. But why are they exposed in a lot of places and just covered in others? It seems like the same amount of trees growing on them and stuff. I don't quite get why some areas, you know, the rock's several feet underground and just, you know, the next mountain over, it's all exposed. Oh, look at that tree just growing outside of the rock right there. How's it even holding on? Well, kind of a port in a storm if you're desperate. I've hidden in smaller and worse. I think. <clears throat> oh, I feel like I'm hearing some really far away voices. Sometimes just the uh, wind and the noise, water, plays tricks on my ears. Okay, straight down. Wasn't quite sure. Nice signs. Big diamond looking at me. What's this other one? That's what I was looking at. It just threw me off. I mean, there is a diamond shape on it, but just nothing I've been looking for. So I was like, ah, now that's the waterfall trail.
Oh, yeah, I see a woman carrying a baby. I got to be close to something. Those things are heavy. You don't want to lug one around too far. She's got it on her hip. Oh, this is some sort of fancy new wave hippie dome retreat. Everybody's living in domes. We're all futuristic. This is how the Jetsons would camp. Humans everywhere. My trail doesn't seem to connect with theirs, so I'm all good. Or maybe it does later, I don't know. Oh yeah, this is where it takes a whole weird thing. I think it was on the map where it looked like somebody tried to draw Italy. And I guess this is why. Quite beautiful falls. I can actually smell those people. Like their laundry detergent or something. George Jetson. Oh, look at this. They're hanging out in giant sky nets in hats. This is how yuppies camp. <laughs> I took a wrong way, so I figured ah, I might as well look at the falls up close. Alright, I saw them. Now, how, how do I get out of here? I got confused. I came down this trail. I was supposed to go back up this trail, but I went down there to the falls. It was more than a 90 degree turn. Not my fault. Ooh, so many people with like baby backpacks and stuff passing by at light speed. Downhill. And I'm in shape. Oh, and there's a restaurant in my future. All these things combined. But they're throwing out comments. The kids are like, ah, oh, he's so fast. <laughs> you damn straight I am. Not a fan of this fence, man. Those are so thin. Animal running full speed will just snag itself on that. If I had wire cutters, I'd cut them all down. Huh, that explains why there's so many people out there. It's not just the George Jetson huts, but it's a whole parking lot full of people and they're still coming in. This is a popular spot. Oh, big black cabin there. Didn't even notice it. I did so well. Come on through, car. Oh, you just want to park. Right. They were scared because I was walking on the same road. They are just creeping behind me the whole time. I don't like that. It's weird to just see a random address in the woods. Well, at least they ain't lying, it's Glamp Blue Ridge. It's supposed to open in, I guess, in 2020. Um, but, you know, things happen, so it's like spring. Maybe summer of 2020-something, they put tape over it. They're like, yeah, you guess. Glamp Blue Ridge. I'd be embarrassed to show up there, to be honest. I mean, if it was like maybe the only one and nobody else would see you, but uh, spend the kind of money I know they're spending just to be in a half of a bubble around a bunch of other rich folk in half of a bubble does not sound ideal to me. Okay, I'm the curious sort, man. Got a fireplace. You can see light coming through it. Ceiling fan. It's got modern stuff. Spider webs. What's that? I think it's an air freshener. Ooh, watch out for holes on the floor. Still shatterproof. I needed one of those. Wow. <laughs> Groovy, man. Oh, look at that. There's a... Oh, I'm stuck on something. Oh, there's a cord hanging from the ceiling. And it got my flag. 
I'm stuck. Okay, I'm unstuck. Pretty cool, man. I love old abandoned houses. Tons of them riding around here, man. I think that was a chicken coop. Oh, there's a hole downstairs. See the door swinging? Downhill and windy for the next 2.7. That leads me all the way to lunch. Fly my flag to make me a little more obvious. Adopt a mile, Ashley family. Can't get away from that name. That's my ex's name. I still miss her. Let's see how well you've done, Ashley family. I see no litter thus far. You're doing pretty well. From a distance, I was sure that was a minivan that had crashed into this tree and was just getting covered in lichen and stuff. Turns out it's just a boulder. Still looks like it crashed into that tree. They knocked it at an angle. Davis. Community Settlers. Stanley Creek Mountain Settlement. You can stay the hell out. Two little miles, maybe even less. Curious about that one. Do they actually own the river? As far as I know, most waterways aren't actually owned. So you can own the property on the other side of it, but I don't think they own the water. Jesus. Oh, they got a hot tub. Might have found that yesterday. Doesn't look like anybody lives here. And if they do, they'll be in another wing of this thing. I don't even know I was here. You got too much space, man. Well, if this is them, they did a great job, man. There was no litter anywhere. Ain't nothing no better than this welcome to do. Uh, and then on the other tree, stay the fuck out. We'll shoot you in your face. <laughs> You're sending mixed signals here, dog. Once upon a time, all these rotten logs lined up with a really expensive fence. Standing better down here. But most of it has rotted away over the ravages of time. If you've ever seen the movie The Hills Have Eyes, that's kind of creepy. Kind of weird inbred shit goes on in there. Now it has come to thought that there is a real possibility that this restaurant is hoity-toity as fuck, judging that I'm surrounded by multi-million dollar houses that are used for a couple weeks out of every year. Um, well, we'll see. 
Well, not looking good, man. No lights are on, no nothing. Let's go see the disappointment on what the sign says. Open every day but today. Mer, today is Tuesday. Oh, well. Let's go check out the generals. Man, Mer. <laughs> That's what I want to do. But you guys aren't letting me. Man. Man. Oh, they got a room that has dogs in it, too. I could have had my, my lunch with dogs. Whatever. I guess if I would have bothered to check the description, it did say it was closed on Monday and Tuesday. Open every other day, but today and yesterday. Worthless is what you are. I can see a bunch of vehicles up there. Maybe there's more commerce going on than I'm aware of. I haven't checked Google. I don't even know if I have service. Um, I'm just going based on what's on gut hooks, which is generally not much. One well, of the last things I would expect to find in this town is a 100-foot crane going on. Uh, maybe 80 feet, I don't know. Maybe it's at an angle, I'm not sure. I wonder what big thing they're building. Hopefully a restaurant. I'm guessing they just built this bridge. That looks like fresh rust. Yeah, that's super fresh rust. Putting a casino on the other side there. And you need a bridge that wide to get to it. I mean, no, what is over there, man? Let's see, you know, I see a hill. What are they building a bridge this big to? Okay, the first restaurant may have been closed, but this general store. Has a special sloppy joes today and potato wedges. They didn't have much for snacks. Oh, not much at all. They had a bunch of stuff in cans and stuff, but yeah, they did not have hiker stuff. But I don't think this tail's used enough for them to care about hikers yet. But sloppy joe and potato wedges, I'm, I'm all over it, man. I might go back for another one. So thank you, Iron Bridge Cafe. I appreciate you for being here. Now, they modeled themselves after the old Iron Bridge, but since it can only handle one vehicle at a time, they're building this monstrosity. And talking to the guys that are building it, um, it's being, uh, there's a, actually a special kind of steel that they use when they're building um, super heavy bridges like that. So he's like, yeah, this one's made out of like a special steel and whatnot. I was like, what's on the other side? He's like, like a couple dozen houses. Um, I haven't actually seen anybody going across that bridge since I've been here. Are you waiting for me? Oh, shit, I'm supposed to go across it. There's a diamond on it. Oh, what do you know? I'm assuming they'll leave this one up. Why tear it down? Oh, because they don't want to maintain it. That's probably why they would. Uh oh, there's a dude following behind me, man. What the fuck? He said, that dude's been behind me for a minute now. I keep thinking like he's waiting for me or something, but... Well, fuck, now he's waiting for me. I'm on this shit. It's my bridge now. One at a time, it says. And I am that one. <laughs> that is an insanely large bridge. For a few houses. I was like, man, there's an interstate on the other side or something? No, nothing. Wow. <laughs> well, how nice is this? They got a guest book to sign, they got hiker gear. A little hiker box and some books. 
Why is my name take our garbage? Wow. Thanks, whoever did this. Appreciate you. That was them. They look prepared. Look at all that firewood. They ain't going cold. Brandy stopped to chat me up. I was hoping she was going to take me home with her. Uh, <laughs> she's driving alongside me talking the whole time. Curious what the hell I'm doing out here. She's like, you sure you're going the right way if you're going to Maine? I'm like, oh, that's actually a good question. Because no, I am not going the right way. I'm headed south. Bigfoot is everywhere. Didn't even notice this guy until I was on top of him. How are you doing? Huh? You doing good? <laughs> she just realized I was here. <laughs> Later, dude. All right, keep an eye out for snakes. No threat, I just don't want to step on one. So I have a slight itinerary. Um, I need to be to Blood Mountain by the 7th. Today is the 2nd. So I have like 50 something miles left on this trail. Or no, it was 50 in the last town, huh? so 40 something. Or 30 something, I don't even remember. But <laughs> and then like 30 something on the other trail. So I was like, yeah, I can be there by the 7th. I'm hoping to be there by the 6th, then maybe just camp out in the Blood Mountain Shelter, and then come down out of the mountain, and then stay for two days. Rest, relax, and upload everything I got. Hey, what's that little manicured trail down there? Is that where I just came from? I don't think so. Um, no, nah, I don't think so. But maybe. <laughs> Hey, there's still that manicured trail next to me. Now, I know I didn't come from it this time. I think that thing just went around the easy way. I went up and over and it went around. No wonder it's so well heavily trafficked. I feel like screw going over this hill. There's a smooth flat path around. I'll take that. But it, it didn't have a diamond on it, so I, I didn't know. It's weird to have two trails that run right next to each other. It's weird. Here's where that other trail connects. Guess it's just the easy way around, but it's not on the map at all. I might have taken it. I just told you guys I did that. I was like, yeah, I was totally at the top of that really huge hill. <laughs> I got bragging rights. And I'm assuming by the three ton weight limit bridge ahead sign that that's the same road that I was just on. So if you want to take it even easier, you can take the road. I don't know how windy it is, but there's probably little elevation change. Not that there was much back there, a few hundred feet up, you know. And that's the thing with these puds, they're generally no more than three or four hundred feet. Almost went down. Where are we? Garland Gap. I'm assuming down there is water. Whew. Man, that looks all sorts of uphill. Man, this is great training for the AT. The Pinoti was nice and mellow. This is just slightly more extreme. And it's up and down, up and down. Some of them are quite steep for just a little bit though. But quite steep slows me down to less than a mile an hour. It's all good training. What's over here, man? Or the easy way around, huh? I see diamonds up here. This is where I go.
Huh, fire tower. I saw an icon for one, but that doesn't necessarily mean there's one. I didn't read the comments about everything because I don't read all the comments. Here's propane tank outside. Looks derelict though. I wonder if you can get up there. Uh, they removed the bottom flight of steps. Not that it's too terribly hard to climb this stuff to get up to that second stair. But, as they intended, it's not really worth it to me. Later on, when I'm getting dumped on, I'm all wet and cold because I did something wrong. Or, you know, my stakes came out of the soft ground. Let me think about this place I passed up. I could, nah, I just didn't want to climb up there. It's because I don't know what's up there. Look like all the windows are broken out. I can see a hole in the roof. But there's no rats all the way up there. But it's still kind of early in the day. It's only 320. So you got a few more miles to make before it rains, hopefully. It says there's a 40% chance at 8. That's the first time they give me a percentage, so, you know, I am generally asleep by 8. But I assume it'll start getting a little crappy before that. You gotta marvel, how is every next hill bigger than the last? Like I went up my 300 feet, okay, here we are. And then I was like, oh, right. this one's 400 feet. Looks like there's another bigger one beyond it. I mean, it's the same size, hard to tell from down here. I know I'm only doing another maybe three-ish miles. It's the lowest point I can find. It says it has a good campsite somewhere around there. It's not on the map. And yeah, I'm just looking right out of storm. It's supposed to go on all night until 10 o'clock tomorrow is when all the clouds on the map disappear. Probably still crappy after that, but hey. Hey, we done. And then it starts getting cold. Not looking forward to that. Below freezing. This time of year, whatever. Hey, right, let's do it. Ooh, no thanks. So super exposed. At the top of the mountain, hole 1934 feet. Ooh. Yeah, I don't see anything bigger after this. So I know there's downhill, water, and then a road, a real road, you know, blacktop and all that. And I'm somewhere near there. So there's a nice campsite, like point four before it. I want to get as low as possible, just in case it's an actual bad storm. All right, I got my water coming up, or I hope so. Yeah, the apps, the maps have not been updated. I'm updating as I go if there's any changes from the last comments, or if the last comment is really old. Uh, but I have this notorious habit of getting stuck in rainstorms without water, which just feels so ironic that it's falling out of the sky, but I've got none in front of me. See anything that looks like water. <laughs> well, still a mile before the campsite, I'm sure we'll run into something. If not, I guess I'll keep walking, huh? And I don't have to stop there. I just wanted that was the lowest point I saw. So I was like, well, that makes sense. Right out, you know, 14 hours of storm. 
Probably not quite. Can't imagine I'll sit in my tent till 10. I think I'd rather walk for a few hours in the water and you know, go dry off my stuff when the sun comes out. Well, I can see a streak and lines and stuff where water has flowed recently. And if I follow it down far enough, I'll run into water. Yeah, it's wet. I'm assuming flowing, but very, very shallow. It's more just like really wet mud at this point. But maybe as we keep getting lower, there's a really wet big rock there. <laughs> Sure, I'll see a pool or something. Hey, dirt! Look at that. I mean, she's not a strong flow, but that's moving. All right, and stuff I can collect from. There's roots in the way. Stuff, maybe that little waterfall-looking thingy. Oh. Yeah, I can work with that. Hallelujah! So I was like, I oh, mean, I don't want to keep walking. Pro tip, if you're going to be smashing your bag up against the end of something like that, because, you know, there's not a, a waterfall, you know, so you have to make contact. Rub it with your hand first, get rid of all the loose debris, let the water flow it away, and then put your bag on it. Otherwise, you're going to get a bunch of crap in your bag, and thus in your filter. Okay, I got three and a half liters on my back, because I assume I'm going to wake up around when I normally do. And sit there and listen to the pitter-patter of rain and drink coffee. Maybe eat some oatmeal. I'll eat it one bag at a time so I feel like I'm doing stuff, you know. Instead of just sitting there twiddling my thumbs. I don't even get to play with my phone or anything, you know, because battery is premium in my world. So I just sit there and think. I do a lot of that, though. Constantly something going on in his noggin. But yet I fall asleep. I used to have problems. I'd lay there and just think about stupid shit while I was in bed. I don't know exactly what changed. But something definitely did. So I fall asleep most, most nights like I'm, I'm drunk and I just got laid. You never sleep more solid than that. I wake up confused, I'm not sure where I'm at. I lay there and I play a game in my mind of when I look outside of the tent, what will I see? And other than, you know, gray le or brown leaves, yeah. <laughs> I'm not quite sure. What's the campsite look like? Which way is the trail? It's confusing. I mean, when there's something epic outside, you remember that, but just like on a random day, it's hard to remember. So, a few days ago, I was at a Dollar General, buying food for a five-day leg, I believe, is what I thought. And then, hey, it turns out it wasn't. Hey, that was, what, three days ago, maybe? I, I still haven't picked up more food. <laughs> and I still have 70 miles, which is a, a four-day journey. Five days? I don't know. Definitely not worried yet, but that's because I still have a lot of food on my back, I feel like, but I don't think I'll feel like that. Um, so I'm either planning this out really well and I'm going to go in with like, you know, a, a one bar in my pocket, or I'm going to come in lean. I'm not sure yet. I guess it all really depends on terrain and stuff. Luck. Maybe some rando trail magic or something. Nah, that's more of an AT thing. And since I can't pull up both maps at the same time, which is really inconvenient, um, I think the Benton Mackay and the AT intersect in a few points at itself. And so I can jump on the AT before I get all the way down to Springer instead of getting all the way down to Springer and then walking back up the AT. I think it exit two or three points, one of them being Springer Mountain. And they only shave off a few miles, but yeah, I don't really care about Springer Mountain, or do I? Isn't that the official start? Should, should I at least go touch that mountain? I guess it depends on how I'm doing with time and food. 
we will let that dictate. Because from there, Blood Mountain is only, you know, for me, probably less than two days away. Depending on terrain. I don't remember it being too bad. I was a total noob back then, so if it was kind of bad, I'd have been crying. And hell, I'll have shoes this time, so it'll go way easier. This is the aforementioned campsite. Hmm. I don't see anywhere in a hammock. Hmm. Those aren't the strongest of trees, but I think they're more than strong enough to support my punk ass. But what if it's a really severe storm? Hmm. Oh, there's a trail here. Let's wander down and look down here. Oh, there's a road. Well, we're going to wander down that anyway because I don't like this. Well, I made it down to the road. It is not nearly as windy down here. And it seems a little more open in the forest, maybe a little flat. So I'm going to kind of poke around here. Trail's right up there. Let's see if I can find somewhere to hammock around here. It's right out of storm, man. Road closed. Let's check that out. Well, I am liking this already. Just the amount of wind, it's flattish in here. Not that flat really matters that much, but it does a little bit to me. Yeah, let's find some good trees to swing from. Well, I found an, expect, an, ex, an acceptable spot, uh, but unfortunately it has a bunch of these monsters growing in it, and of course they won't show up, but they're thorny as fuck. There's a patch there, a patch there, and a patch there, but I'm pruning. Because these two trees look nice and strong. That one's got a good lean, but it leans away from me. But it's got buds on it, and so does that one. So they're totally alive. I'm cool with that, man. Okay, I'll take my chances here. Sure, I'm right next to the road, and I got traffic noises. But I've slept next to trains. I don't care about traffic noises. I care about being comfortable, warm, and dry. Okay, turns out they don't cut so well with a knife, but I found their Achilles heel. They don't grow spikes down near the bottom, and they uproot kind of easy. But these things are, I don't know, like twigs, man. I can't even bend that. Uh, nope. Not that I'm the strongest guy in the world, but anyway, he's probably that strong. Um, yeah, you definitely weave a dangerous basket out of this stuff. So, yeah, I just uprooted all of them. <laughs> Screw those things. peaceful here when the cars aren't driving by. There's not much traffic, so even if there was, it wouldn't bother me too much. Hmm, looks like I'm sharing this spot with some ants. That's inconvenient. Yeah, there's a bunch of them. I wonder if all this loose dirt is from ants. Is that why it's a different color? Let's see if everybody comes out. Can't sleep here if this is like Ant City. No, it's been pouring out of this one spot here, but the rest of it's pretty empty. Okay, now I got you all good and pissed, I'm setting up on top of you. Don't make me piss on you. I will. Yeah, I'm all set up. See, when I'm sitting in my hammock, like my, it's right in my face. Push it out. But that's, that's why I sit on the floor. But uh, when I said I didn't bring food out with me, I did kind of lie. I brought two steak quesadillas with me. Ah, uh, because I was thinking ahead. All right, so I'm pretty much going to sit here. I got a few videos that I can kind of make and do my thingy, but um, I don't have enough battery power, and I'm, I'm not in town for a while, so I'm not going to try to upload anything from here. I mean, check, check to see if I have service, because it doesn't matter. can't play with my phone. All right, let's see what happens tonight. Could be interesting. See you in the morning.